Let's go out to West Alabama, where the work of people responsible for helping desegregate Tuscaloosa is still being celebrated today. A group created to remember the movement, make it relevant, and recognize people involved in the civil rights movement. And they were they honor some people credited with making that change possible. Your Tuscaloosa reporter Kelvin Reynolds live now is with us more on that. Kelvin, good morning. Hey, good Monday morning, Mike and Lyndon. Uh, WBRC was there when the Tuscaloosa Civil Rights Foundation held the second annual Uplift Awards. As you mentioned, it is an event that honors those people who helped move Tuscaloosa forward when it came to civil rights. The Uplift Awards honors the legacy of those community members who served Tuscaloosa. Now, organizers felt that it is important that these people made a difference on a personal as well as a professional level. They they also recognized nearly two dozen people who were students at Stillman College and Druid High School during the civil rights movement. Well, I knew we had to make a change, but I didn't know that it was going to be this dramatic. And I tell the message of Tuscaloosa all over the world, being in the position of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., as well as my wife, we travel the world, and uh, we just thank God that we're back home and receiving some type of recognition in terms of the work that we have done. Now, if you go to the WBRC News app later this morning, we will have a complete list of all the Uplift Award honorees. Your reporter live in Tuscaloosa, I'm Kelvin Reynolds, WBRC, six news on your side.